Okay, hello and welcome back to our long playthrough of Kingdoms of Malur Reckoning. So, holy shit. Just annoying. I want to go and help God world. <laughs> yeah, I want to go and help God world teach all of these assholes on this. Swenson's idea of humor. Well, you look hardy enough. Won't botch the tale of Bloody Bones too badly, I suppose. Still, I'm curious as to how Hallam expects you to bring me back from the edge of the Great Cycle. But that's his problem, not mine. There you go. I knew, I knew Ferrara was no human or no mortal. He's a fairy. Uh, I knew it, fucking liars. He cannot die, and he will can never die. It, it's all bullshit, that's why I dislike the fairies, it's just ridiculous. They're immortal and they keep attaching meaning to things that shouldn't mean for immortal beings. So tell me about you, fake Sir Ferrara. The Duke of the Cursed Fomorians, Slayer of Pombero and Protector of the Mabinogi. But you may call me brother. I have fought with the lords and ladies of the Court of Enchantments for three seasons. My skills with the blade and in the bed know no equal. And that was a little too much information. <laughs> yeah. Especially for a man with purple hair, telling me, <laughs> telling me he has a lot of skills in the in the bed. Uh, tell me about my part in this bullshit. And yeah, I will mess it up. I'll mess up this tale and every other ballad if I can. But I don't know if I can. That's the sad thing. The only uh, thing keeping me motivated is that I could rise and in the wall and, and uh, replace one of the big shots somewhere down the road and then teach them a lesson. A close companion he was, a true brother in your mortal understanding of the word. I trusted him, I had to, as he played such a vital role in my most memorable song. Is there any other way to view the warrior who saves your life time and again? You are immortal. You are fucking immortal. Uh, you cannot save the life of an immortal being because they are immortal. Uh, that's why this piece of shit keeps repeating itself forever. You dustlings have a similar concept. I believe you call it death, but there is no elegance in your mortality, no poetry. Those of my kind perish, only to have their magic pass on into the great cycle, where it returns in kind, reborn into a world that welcomes such new beginnings. Oh. 
Okay, give me a second, I just build something. Uh, a second. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I don't know if in Buddhism you actually remember that you existed before. But yeah, this is all uh, some kind of reincarnation thing. Yeah, like an Eastern religion that believes in reincarnation uh, but yeah humans don't usually actually tell you they are immortal and they were this and that in the other season they just believe souls re are reincarnated yeah maybe but yeah, I do believe this is very similar to an Eastern religion, taken to an extreme. Uh, Alright, tell me about the maidens. They are Almain, settlers from the west, searching for a place to plant their flag. Poor creatures, I've never seen such terrible luck. Camp just outside Uduath. Right in bloody bones as warpath. Better they had cut their own throats. A kinder fate. Okay. Tell me about the court of enchantments. I've always known my place has been among the heroes of the court. What other outcome could there be for one so deserving of adoration? Yeah, no fairies deserving of anything other than getting its tongue cut off. But maybe its hands and feet and left to rot for eternity. And when it's about to die, you feed it and you give it <laughs> water so it can continue suffering for all the seasons and no one is left to retell those these boring tales. Alright. So what should we do? Let me be truthful with you, Dustling. I've never seen Bloody Bones act so erratically. He cares nothing for the story, as if he craves a different outcome. Instead of spiriting away a young mortal maiden, he took an entire camp. Men, women, children. It's mad. And certainly not part of the tale. And I thought this ballad couldn't get any worse, considering my impending demise. Well, let's get this over with, shall we? Uh. Onward. Free the prisoners. Well, maybe he has wised up. I mean, uh, bloody wounds. He has realized. It gives me chills. Thanks to God, old. You don't need to retell the past tales. You can actually make new ones. Yeah. If it not were for God world, I think this world would be boring as hell. Okay. Or maybe... Gives me or maybe Bloody Bones some, somewhere along the road became a uh, bisexual or a trisexual and likes children and women and men and everything in between 
Uh, <laughs> yeah, he's an expert in his sexual horizon, so that's why he kidnapped everyone to see if he liked it more than a maiden. Maybe. Why not? Who is to say no? <laughs> well, that brown is really blind. Ah, shit. Are we? Here, somewhere. Yeah, I can't wait to get to the east. The east is where the fun will be. War and destruction. Goodbye. But for now, for now we need to play our part. I'm sure Voldemort was always also bored when he had to play his part. Yeah, yeah, another glitch. Yeah, I don't know. This game, that's the 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 one thing I I really don't like about the the what the trailer. The game makes it very clear that you're supposed to be a hero of the story. Uh, very clear, Glist crystal clear. Uh, but unlike Mass Effect, it doesn't give you uh, the choice of how to be the hero. In Mass Effect, you are the hero. You cannot do anything else but to save the galaxy. It is your fate, let's say, <laughs> to put it in the terms of this game. It is your fate to save the galaxy. But you can't go out doing it the way you want. More or <laughs> Somewhere. Yeah, some crystals are not clear. That's very true. But if there is anything clear uh, when it is pristine and clean. But yeah, here apparently you don't have a choice on how to proceed. And I don't know if you have an actual choice about how to shape your own story. May me bless you. There you go, the first two women. They could be anywhere. Well, certainly deeper into this place. Uh, so yeah, I. I dislike RPGs that don't have choices because that's the fundamental element in an RPG for me. It must have choices, otherwise it is not an RPG. It is just an adventure game, a fancy adventure game. And, uh, This 
And we'll so we shall see. Hurry! There's not much time. Yeah, Bioware. That's why I like Bioware games so much because they have nailed it, in my opinion, uh, in that regard. On the choices, even though people say that it's all bogus, you're not really high choices. Quasi crystals, what's a quasi crystal? Okay, <laughs> let's look at these things. Who are you? Uh, who is that fairy there? I find it is strange. No. So the witch was right. Help us come from Sir Ferrara the Fair, who flounders in the puddles of Uduan. Such a champion should never lose his way. Not in his own song. You, new knight, leave now, forsaking the last prisoners, and I will share with you my knowledge. How I came to change things. Stay, and you'll have nothing but corpses. Okay, finally, this is what I'm talking about. I don't give a shit about these people. Yeah, I don't give a shit about anyone. But in fact, I want to meet the witch and I want to learn her secrets. Now, so let's talk about witch. Oh, I don't know who she is. I don't care. What concerns me is power. The power to end this pitiful design. In every song, the summer champion triumphs. His enemy falls. How long has this been the way of the telling? This existence. It is not a life. It is not a death. It is a snare in which I have struggled for centuries. No more. Uh, do you know how refreshing it is to hear someone Tell me what I have been ranting about for hours. Uh, yeah. It's like uh, finding a bottle of cold water in the middle of the desert. Well, I don't know anything about crystals, Jason. <laughs> uh, only know that the most fancy ones are diamonds. All right, where are the other settlers? They are safe, but while mortals have no cares, they also have no time. I can keep them here in Uduwa for as long as I wish, until they are but dust. Yeah, yeah, I don't give a shit. I will murder every fairy. If I could. You were wiser than your predecessors. The former Sasakro was an imbecile and a fop. This is what I know. A woman approached me. A winter fay. In her possession she had many ballads. Among them was our story, Ferrara. And somehow she had changed it. She gave it to me as a gift. In return, she asked for my allegiance. But you know me. My story is one of treachery, as you shall now witness. Come, languish with me in eternity. Ah, uh, motherfucker. Oh, 
okay, this man is a, a powerful man. offered him a way out of this bullshit. Alright. And yeah. Hopefully we can meet that uh, other Fey. Bleeding resistance. Alright. The gem of coagulation, I guess that's that's a very appropriate name. But yeah, this mana turned out to be very very nice after all. But yes, we need to meet the winter fay. The winter fay don't seem to know their shit. At least they appear to. Which is the best I can say on any fame. Uh, Alright, I guess I explored this place. Alright, let's revive Sir Ferrara. To the king! Well done, <laughs> You have proven yourself worthy of the name. Hallam's trust in you was not misguided. I don't know what to make of Bloody's tale, but it has the ring of truth to it. We must return to Wenson and tell him what we've learned here in Uduath. Okay, let's go. Off we go then. Uh, off we give. Run! <laughs> Fucking fairies. Well, there are a lot of people running out of here. Huh. Really? But uh, you can see uh, the, the video now, weapons, I guess. Uh. <laughs> yeah, the internets, Hi. the internets are trolling us. Why didn't we jump? Fuck me. We didn't explore that path. Ah, shit. That happens for following the idiots. I need to explore that little path. What if there is something there? Well, that that was very sad. I put my trust in, in <laughs> an evil person and I got stung. I guess that was to be expected, wasn't it? <laughs> well, apparently there was nothing here. Jump! Alright, let's go back to King Wens and the fake. No, <laughs> oh, don't attack me. Well, apparently, I do not attack me. 
King wants in the fake. Here we come. How may I assist you? How may you? I don't know. You can die. Yeah, he wrote his wife and he his the hero mistress returns. as well. I am relieved to see you well. What is happening? First Sagril and now bloody bones. These are shocking developments. Listen, Hallam and I have been discussing what transpired in Uduath. You are needed for a very special quest. A song of your very own. You must travel to the home of Tenwa also known as the Librarian. It is an important journey, not without its perils. Okay, who is that? I know little about the Librarian. Only that she and Hallam have spent many seasons studying the ebbing tides of magic and how best to preserve our balance. She is an odd creature, quite aloof and reclusive. From what I've heard, she enjoys the scholarly arts of men, with all their brittle, ink-stained quirks. Okay, where is this storyteller? Do not rouse your mortal worry for Hallam. He has left the court seeking answers to our many questions. He will return in time. If someone is corrupting the songs of this great house, Hallam will find them. He is the storyteller, and he knows our ballads better than anyone. Okay, I'm ready to have a song of my own. Go to Tenwa's cottage in Haxi. She will be waiting for you. Retrieve a ballad from her collection of fey cairns. It is called The Hero and the Maid. Bring it to me, and guard it with your life. Its worth cannot be measured. Uh, yeah, I know where the ballad library is, but what it is. The library is a collection of special lore stone called cairns, in which are kept the greatest of summer court ballads. As long as they are safe, so too are our songs. The library was not Lord Issa's idea, but the inspiration of Hallam the White. He created the cairns and cast the spell that protects them. The world is changing. Everyone knows it, even if some choose not to accept it. Even as summer court magic weakens, our library of lore will remain strong. Uh, yeah, when, when you're all dead, no one is going to read them. Or gone, or whatever you... So, where is the librarian in Hanxi? No? Our cottage stands in the gap between Yolvan and Haxi. Southeast of here. It is an isolated spot. Safe. Okay, goodbye. Tenwa is expecting you. Tenwa. Tenwa. Let me check the inventory. What the